Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be talking about dominating price action to amplify your trading arsenal. In this video presentation, we will be looking at price action. If you want to be a successful Forex trader, you need to understand what price action is. If we had to strip Forex trading down to one single most important feature, then price action would be it. Today we are going to show you how it is applied in Forex trading. All areas of the financial markets capture movements on any specific asset, including Forex, on a chart and whereby this is recorded historically. These movements can be represented as candlesticks, line charts or bar graphs and can be observed on varying time periods from 1 minutes all the way up to monthly charts. This data reflects the beliefs of market participants at any given time, whether they are human or algorithm-based traders, which always shows on the chart in form of price action. Price action is the methodology of applying all of your decisions from a price chart while adhering to some basic trading principles. Price action is often called naked trading because traders rely on the price itself in order to denote when to enter and exit trades. However, by adding a couple of moving averages and some support and resistance lines, it becomes much more easy to identify key levels of support and resistance to trade around. Ideally, as a trader, we want to try and identify tops, bottoms and trends. And this methodology is an extremely important feature in identifying these key areas. A couple of old adages come to mind and lend themselves to Forex very nicely. The first one is sometimes you can't see the wood for the trees. And where that can be applied to Forex is some traders overload their screens with technical tools and they cannot really clearly see and identify what is happening with price action because they are too focused on too many technical tools. The other old adage is sometimes less is more, and that applies for the same reason. By stripping away technical tools, we can rely on price itself, which is a key leading indicator of its own. While this is an example of the EURUSD pair, we can safely see that during this period of the one hour chart, the general trend was to the downside, but how can we pick this out by utilizing price action itself? Example B. Price action of a pair is a continuous motion apart from interruptions during the weekends. Otherwise, price is consolidating or moving in a sideways direction, or it is trending higher or lower. As traders, we should be looking at what is happening with price action at any given time, and then try to establish if price is trending or if it is in a period of consolidation, or even a pullback before a trend continuation. Price action alone can help us determine these areas by adding a couple of visual supports, such as some trend lines. This helps to make things a bit more identifiable. This example we have just added two very simple lines which helps us to more clearly identify levels of support and resistance. Here we can see that a period of consolidation, which is qualified by price action touching, or is very close to touching at least two areas of support and resistance, which are clearly identifiable such as we have drawn on our chart. One thing that is for sure is that price action will breach this area at some point in the future. This is a key area of interest for traders. Example C. Here we can see that the support line has been breached by a strong bearish candlestick. Traders will jump on this opportunity to go short on the pair at this point. Example D. We subsequently see another area of consolidation and further breach to the downside, and where traders would expect that a downtrend is in process. They would be looking for opportunities to go short here. Whilst technical tools like Stochastic, MACD and Moving Averages are widely used throughout the trading community, many traders feel that price action alone can be relied upon for identifying trade opportunities, and we can certainly see that these few examples support that. Of course, as cautious traders, we would like to stack the odds in our favor, and if that means adding a couple of extra visual technical tools that will help us, then there's no harm in that. Example E. Here, for example, we have added a simple 30 period moving average. Notice how the price action tends to bounce off this lower line whilst price action continues in its trend lower. Example F. I know that price continues to consolidate and punches lower through support lines and where support lines become lines of resistance, but all the while price is bouncing lower from the 30 period MA. Price action also throws up another favorite for traders, highs with lower highs and lows with lower lows, which identify a downtrend. The opposite of this would apply for an uptrend, where they would be looking for highs with subsequent highs and lows with subsequent higher lows. But again, these key areas are clearly evident on the screen, even with price action alone. Example H. Price action traders will also observe higher timeframes. In this example, we are looking at a 4 hour chart of the EURUSD pair. Traders try to establish what is going on with price action on the longer term timeframe because this will filter through to the lower timeframes and whereby they look for opportunities to jump on the overall trend should there be one. Price action becomes repetitive, and this is because human nature in trading tells us certain things are likely to happen at certain levels. Typically, key levels surrounding round numbers, and these things are reoccurring on a regular basis. Human emotion would suggest that they are likely to continue to reoccur and therefore trading sometimes becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, where certain price events, in the absence of fundamental reason, is likely to continue in this vein. 
Price action levels become significant because market participants give significance to them. Summarizing price action would be to say that it is the most significant aspect of Forex trading, and whereby just using the minimum amount of technical tools you can more easily see areas of price consolidation within resistance and support levels. When these areas are breached we may see a continuation in price action in the direction of the breach, and by incorporating a simple moving average it can more easily help us to identify a trend. These very basic mechanisms are highly favoured by professional traders and institutional traders alike. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.